Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, today we're gonna be doing another Shein try on haul. So I have a lot of cute pieces for this really chilly weather. Also be sure to check the description box for my measurements so you can use me as a reference when shopping, as well as all of the links in today's video in the order that I've shown in the video. And I will also have chapters so you can find things easily, tops, bottoms, jackets, dresses, etc. Also be sure to use my coupon code when shopping on Shein. It is 15% off sis. Okay, so you can save some coin, especially during this time of the year. I do not receive anything from the coupon code whatsoever. It's just for you guys to save some money. So with all of that being said, give this video a huge thumbs up for your girl if you want more videos like this. Also be sure to comment down below your favorite piece. And with all of that being said, we're gonna get right into the video. First up we have an accessory. This is the only accessory I have in this video and it's this furry, so, so cute hat. I love these hats. I've been buying them like crazy in so many different colors because I really, really like the touch that these add to outfits. I just, I don't know, it's something about them. So this one I got in this cream color because I have a black one, I have a blue one, I have a red one, I have all the pop of colors, but I don't have any super neutral colors. So I wanted to get this one. So now we're moving on to the tops and as you can see I have on this graphic tee and I just love Shein's graphic tees because I love adding a good graphic tee to a basic fit and making it look like, you know, like a grungy type of streetwear type of vibe. I think that this top is so, so cute. They do have this shirt in two other colors, but I like the gray and the contrast of the red and all the other colors in this shirt. Here's a close up of what's on the front, the graphic. I really like this top a lot. I got this in it extra large or large I'll have it in the description box but whatever the biggest size is that's what I got because I love for my graphic tees to be super oversized because you could tie them up in the front you could tuck them on the side to give you a little bit more shape and they definitely add a nice touch to a look so next up we have this bodysuit and I don't really know what drew me to this I really just liked the color way of this it looks really really bright on my camera like neon bright but in person, it does give a little bit more of a deeper pink, kind of like the photo. But here's a close up. It looks like low key, like a lava lamp. But I got this in a size medium because that's my true size when I get my tops or bodysuits from Shein. And this, I don't really know how I would wear it. I just really liked the colors. And it's definitely a unique looking top. So I got it so I could style it kind of funky. So we'll see how I end up styling this in the future. So now we're gonna move on to sweaters, which I have quite a few of. So we have this like bat wing sweater situation. I love these. I feel like these are like the adult grown woman sweaters. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I just feel like when you put on a sweater like this in the colder months, you just look really put together. You look very like feminine and elegant and you just look very, very put together. I think that's just the way I could put it. I got in a size large because I wanted it to be quite loose and obviously you can wear it off the shoulder you can wear it on the shoulder i have pretty broad shoulders so i was still able to wear it off the shoulder and it still gave the same look so yeah i absolutely love this sweater so next we have something very similar but this is stripe and i know you guys are probably thinking like brianna this isn't something you would typically get like this type of style but i have been experimenting a lot recently with looks hence why I haven't been posting anything y'all I have been like in the lab if that's what you want to call it just getting re-inspired by different pieces and mixing high end with low end I really want to give you guys some really really cool fun pricey but also affordable looks because I am someone who likes to mix high and low end so I want to incorporate that more on my Instagram but anyways this I just think would look amazing okay y'all already know with a pop of color it would definitely be red I feel like a red lip wearing this during the holiday season, everything. I love this. So next we have us a basic cardigan and I got this, I don't remember exactly what size I got this in. I'm pretty sure this is from the plus section but I didn't realize that when I picked it. But I love this cardigan. I love me a good oversized lengthy cardigan, okay? I love me some cardigans, y'all know. I feel like I wanna do a cardigan video but I feel like that's so extra because like, girl, who cares about the damn cardigans? But I love cardigans and I know a lot of people probably do as well and wanna know where I get them from. So if you guys are interested, let me know. I know that's super random. But as you can see, it's a nice, long, oversized, super soft, comfortable cardigan and I'm going to be wearing the crap out of this one. So next we have a cropped cardigan situation and this I've had my eye on for a little bit 
and I finally decided to get it. So one thing I will say is it only comes in one size, which is a size small and it equates to a US 4. But for some reason it fits perfectly. So I don't know what that's about, but I feel like if you wanted it to be like that oversized look and you're a little bit smaller than me, then you will definitely achieve that. But I am 5'7", as you guys know, as well as 160 pounds. And this is what it's looking like on me. I think it fits perfectly, actually. It fits exactly the way I want it to. I love the braided detail down the sleeve. And then it's like a little bow tie at the end. I love that touch. I feel like little things like that make the difference because this could have easily been a plain green cardigan and I would have been like, oh, that's cute. But it's something about those little braids and the bows at the end that just adds that nice little touch. And this is also perfect for any sort of holiday festivities you have coming up. So next we have this cardigan and this I really, really liked. Now you guys know Daisy on Shein runs really small, but they be having some of the best pieces, okay? Daisy has like some of the nicest pieces and I always have to get them even though I may be playing around with the size, but this actually fits me really, really well. I typically go for an XL in Daisy because obviously that's the biggest size that they have and typically it works out for me so I'm really excited that this looks the way it does I thought it was gonna be a little small y'all know how Daisy is but it fits me really really well this will look really cute styled similar to the way I have it on in this video with like some white boots a cute little bag a toe a crossbody whatever also before we move on I just wanted to say that this cardigan is super super soft which I absolutely love so next we have us another Daisy item, which once again, I got in a size XL, extra large, whichever you want to call it. But I really love this sweater. They had it in another color, which I was so sad because it was like a green and yellow like gradient and it was so pretty. It like screamed fall and I was so sad because it was out of stock. So I ended up getting the blue one, which I still love. I love the colors in this. I love the gradients. It's very soft very cozy, very, very nice quality, might I add. Definitely going to be styling this because I really, really like this sweater a lot. And here is a close up of the sweater so you can see the texture, the colors and all of that. It's a really, really nice sweater, you guys. I promise you, this is like something you would find when you would go thrifting at the thrift store. I feel like when I used to thrift, I used to always go for the sweaters and this right here feels just like that. Like I love, love, love this sweater. So I hope the other color comes back into stock really, really soon. So next we have this cute cropped sweater. It's purple or lilac and it has pink, red, and blue. And I just really liked the colors in this. I have some purple platform heels that I have not worn yet that I was like, oh, that will look really cute with this sweater. So I definitely will be styling a lot of these pieces on my Instagram. So definitely follow me over there. I know I say that all the time, but I literally am going to be styling 10 of these items on my Instagram so, so that you don't miss out definitely go over there and follow your girl and turn on your post notifications because the looks are coming I promise the looks are coming okay so here's a close-up of the sweater so you can get you know into the detail of course something I like to do with crop sweaters is tuck them under my bra and it just adds a different type of look but you can obviously wear it as normal if you're not into the super super cropped look next up we have this green distressed sweater and I was hoping that it would fit a bit more like the model, but I know that we are probably not the same proportions, so it's not gonna look the same on me. So I'm not a huge fan. I like the look of the sweater. I like the idea of it. I'm just not a huge fan of the way it fits. I know it probably looks completely fine, but the way that I have it visioned in my mind is not this. It's a bit bigger, it's a bit slouchier, you know, just a little bit more oversized. But I still do really like the sweater. It's really cute. Definitely be careful though, because y'all know anything that has any sort of like distressing or anything that could get snagged. My ring got stuck on this sweater like four times. I almost ripped it completely off when I was trying it on and putting my arm through the armhole as you can see the distressing around my elbow. But anywho, this is cute, but I do wish it fits a bit bigger. Next up, we have this really cute sweater, which I seen and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. So I decided to pick it up. I got it in a size large and I love the way that this fits. I love the look of this. I love the little keyhole in the front. I just really like this a lot. I posted this on my story while I was recording the video because I just thought it was so cute. And so many people were like, girl, where's that from? Where's that from? 
y'all already know it's from Shein. okay so i really like the quality of this this is also something you have to be quite careful with when it comes to putting it on with like rings or anything that will snag even your nails sis please be careful okay y'all know me being extra per usual and get you a man that brings you snacks while you work in okay period next we have this sleeveless a little bit of a high neck sweater and this i just really liked the design on there i love the colors i feel like it screams fall y'all know green rust all of that pretty much everything in this shirt is like my go-to for fall as far as colors go so i had to pick this one up this is definitely something you can layer with because it is sleeveless so if you get a little cold obviously you want to put a coat over it or even a cardigan if you want to do you know knit on knit that would be really really cute as well this but i got in a size large because i felt like it was going to be quite fitted and i'm glad that i did because it would have been super snug which is not what i was going for but i really like the way that this ended up fitting so next we have this really cool sweater as you can see it is like i don't even know what to call this pattern but i really love the colorway of this so it's like gray and charcoal and then it has like red burnt orange just all these really cool colors i really like the way that this looks together the sleeves as you can see are a bit exaggerated and then it does have like a lettuce shaped hem which i feel like just adds a nice touch to this sweater it has a very exaggerated very very exaggerated turtleneck so if you wanted to put this over your face you can if you wanted to like wear it like a mask it wouldn't probably stay up because it is a bit loose but i just wanted to show you guys how much fabric is on the turtleneck and you can just adjust it to your liking and kind of make it look the way you want it to look but i really really like this sweater i think this will look really good with like some charcoal high-waisted jeans a cute little boots okay here i just wanted to show you how cropped it is from the side so it is a bit cropped so i would not recommend sizing down in this sweater so this is a really cute two-piece set as you can see it's like a crop blazer situation and a tennis skirt i really wanted to try this outfit out so i decided to go for a medium instead of my typical large if i were to get something like this and as you can see it is a bit tight at the top and the skirt is really short even if i pulled it down my cheeks still would have been basically out so it's definitely not something i would be able to wear in public okay but if i would have gotten a large it probably would have given me a little bit of room to work with but not much so if you are someone who's tall you know i actually seen destior post this outfit literally like last week and i was like that looks so cute on her i don't know what size she has on and we're probably obviously not the same measurements but i was like yes sis. <laughs> definitely can't wear this outside okay the wind blow the wrong way and it's over okay it is over for me <laughs> so next we have an item that is probably top five in this video for me so as you can see it is this really gorgeous zebra print high neck bodycon dress it fits the body so well when you hold it up it actually has like a curve in the waist which is my favorite thing ever i love seeing that on clothing because it it gives intent okay it gives i'm out here looking out for the girls with the little waist okay i'm out here trying to give the girls shape and body and that's what we love okay we love making sure that the girls look good so i really love this dress a lot i love how it has like a bat wing type of feel at the top the waist is cinched in the bottom is tight the whole silhouette of this dress is everything okay I love this dress so much i'm definitely going to be pairing this dress with a thigh high boot because it's only right okay you can do heels but i think a boot is going to set this off even a pop of color like these red sunnies that i got from loewe you guys know give me a red lip and a red bag and this look is complete and i am good to go i absolutely love this dress so next up we have this dress which i thought was so pretty i love the look of it it kind of gives like a tuxedo vibe but it's a dress and i really love this you guys i don't typically go for stuff like this as y'all know y'all already know y'all are probably like dang girl you got a lot of dresses and y'all know i don't do dresses i don't do skirts but i'm surprising myself these days so your girl is stepping out of her shell y'all should be proud okay give this video a huge thumbs up for your girl for trying out some different things and just experimenting y'all i'm so excited to give you guys some more looks i cannot wait i cannot wait so next we have another dress and this is a really really cute sweater dress it's like a cream 
and then it has black stripes and then it has the black buttons and i really love this dress so gorgeous so nice fits really well this is a perfect dress to wear on a little fall date night okay when it's chilly out throw on a nice coat a nice boot okay and a bag and you are good to go i really love this dress a lot i even walked downstairs to get some water with this on and my husband was like girl you looking good and i was like i know thank you i thank you <laughs> This dress I did get in a size medium and I really like the way it fits. It still has a little bit of like extra fabric, but that is just something that I've noticed I have to deal with when it comes to like these knit dresses. I love that they have that extra room, but I also wish they were a little bit more fitted like in the waist area to kind of give you a little bit more shape because in order for you to get that shape, you kind of have to like pull the dress up and like lift it up so it doesn't like make you look like a square if that makes sense. But other than that, I think that this dress is stunning and I can't wait to wear it. All right, y'all. Overalls, what was I thinking? I don't know, but I really like this a lot, actually. Um, it doesn't fit me the way that I would like it to. I would definitely like for it to fit a little bit looser. I got it in a large because that's the typical size I go for with anything denim on Shein because it doesn't have any stretch. And as you can see, it fits me. Nothing wrong with it, but I think it's just different and it's gonna take some adjusting and getting used to. But nonetheless, I think this is really, really nice. I like the quality of it. I like the wash of it. The length of it is perfect. It's actually really long and it touches the floor and I'm 5'7", so I would say it's tall girl friendly. If you're like a few inches taller, then maybe it will be a little high watery, but nonetheless, it is tall girl friendly. And as you can see up close, this is what it looks like and I just like take one of the sleeves off and then you could also unbuckle it and have it just hanging like that or if you wanted to you can definitely have both of them hanging down and then just have the overall look without having the overalls up if that makes sense but I like this y'all let me know what you think if you wear overalls still if you're into overalls or how would you style this personally I'm not 100% sure because I've never really worn these so let me know down below so next we have these jeans here and these are like a charcoal kind of like an acid wash type of colorway and y'all I haven't really tried Shein's jeans in a while. I remember years ago a couple years ago I did a full Shein denim video and you guys loved that but ever since then I haven't really been like too crazy about the jeans so there's nothing wrong with the jeans but I am tall okay so Every time I get a pair of jeans from Shein, they're just not long enough for me personally. And these are no different. These are still really cute and you could easily just kind of like, you know, roll them up and wear your heels or whatever shoes you're going to have on. But I personally like for my jeans to drag on the ground. So when I wear heels, the heel is covered. The jeans are still practically touching the ground. If not touching the ground, they're basically touching the ground. So. That's why I'm not like too crazy about Shein's jeans, but I know they have a tall section now. So I'm gonna be trying that out for you guys. And if you want another denim video, then definitely comment down below or thumbs up this video and let your girl know. Next pair of jeans I have on here are these really cute distress. They look a little bit darker in the photo than they do in person, but nonetheless, these jeans, I really like the way that they fit. I actually got these in a medium and I'm actually really feeling the way that they fit. I typically, like I said, go for a large, but I went with the medium. Your girl's body has been changing a lot recently. I started a new workout program, so body recomp in the works, but these jeans fit really well. The back obviously could use some work. I always need the waist taken in, period, no matter what, which is another reason why I am not big on Shein's jeans. They do have some jeans that do fit the waist, but for the most part, all of the jeans that I've tried personally, the waist always has to be taken in. So if you guys have any jean recommendations, then definitely leave them down below because I would love to find me a good pair of jeans on Shein. So next we have another pair of light wash jeans and these I got in a size medium as well. As you can see, they fit very similar to the last pair. Not super tight, but also not super loose. Once again, the waist is too big, so that's unfortunate but I really do like these jeans a lot. The length is really nice. They fit really well in that department, but the waist is just always not doing it for me, okay? I don't know, I don't know. Anywho, these so the last pair of pants I have are these like snake print 
flare leg. They're kind of, it's not like super exaggerated, but they are definitely a flare leg. Bottoms and these actually fit really well. At the top, of course. At the bottom, it's giving high water and I'm just so upset about it. But I really do like the way the top portion fits. As you can see, not too much gapping. The pants are like a comfy stretch. I really, really like these. I just wish that they were longer. They literally are like a few inches above my ankle and it just looks crazy. Like I personally don't like the flared look that is above the ankle. I like the long flared look that like touches the floor. Nothing wrong with it, I just can't. It doesn't look good on me. Not a huge fan, I just don't really like it. Yes, you could easily throw on like a cream or white pair of thigh high boots or something to kind of cover that up. So next we are moving on to skirts, which I said in the beginning, y'all, your girl is stepping out of her comfort zone, okay? So this skirt right here is like this graphic black print on this cream base and I really liked the color contrast in this skirt. As you can see here, I have tried it on with a cropped, like light knit sweater, which I think I would style it exactly like this, just with a pair of boots and call it a day. I think a skirt and a boot is going to be my favorite combination for this upcoming season. I've been loving that look. I have been obsessed with denim skirts, skirts, which you guys will see in a second. So definitely be on the lookout on the gram for the skirt looks because they are coming. So next we have us another skirt and this is a denim skirt. It's like a black, washed black type of color. It does have this like flared design and it is like a little bit of distressing across the skirt as well. And this I got in a size large. I definitely could have gotten a medium because I wish it was a little bit tighter. I'm not gonna lie. I like the way it fits. If you want a loose, like oversized type of look, then definitely size up, but I should have gotten a medium in this skirt. So as you're about to see here, I did style this with a pair of thigh high boots, of course, because that is the only look I can envision with this skirt. As you guys can see, the skirt is quite big, so I definitely should have gone down a size, but the skirt itself, I really do like. Next, we have another denim skirt, and this one is just like a dark wash, nothing going on. It does have a slight slit in the back just to make it a bit easier for walking. It's not like you're walking with like a pencil literally skirt on. So as you can see here, the waist, same old, same old, nothing different. It is not as bad as other items, but I do wish it was a bit more tight so it could like, you know, shape me a little bit better, but that's an easy fix. Ann has really been doing it with the denim skirts. I have gotten so many. I actually have another one in this video in a second, but I have been loving the denim skirt look, y'all. I have been loving it and I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm going to style like a couple of them and then we're just gonna kind of give it a rest, you know, but I really love the denim skirt trend. So next we have this like fringe knit, yeah, fringe knit, asymmetrical high split skirt, whatever you wanna call it. I really like this a lot. I wouldn't necessarily wear it the way that I have it on in the video. I just kept on what I had on in the previous clips, but I would do more of like a cream color situation with this skirt and a thigh high boot. Definitely a thigh high boot. You have to do a thigh high boot with this because of the shape of the skirt. It's only right. This skirt I did get in a size medium and it fits really well. It is like a knit material, so it does have some stretch to it. And y'all know I gotta dance and be extra per usual. <laughs> but the next item is this skirt here, which seems very random compared to everything else in this video. But I just thought it was really pretty. And also it's obviously the holiday season, literally right around the corner. And the biggest thing during the holiday season is like sequins. And I just thought that this was a really cute skirt. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna wear it or how I would wear it, but I just really liked it, y'all. I don't know. I got this in a size medium. I just thought this would be a really pretty color to work with for the holiday season. A lot of people typically do like black or pink or red, gold, you know, the typical holiday colors. So I don't know, I just thought it would be really different to try to style this for the holiday season with some color. I still don't know, so we're gonna work on that, but this is just like one of those random pieces. Y'all know I always have that random piece in the video that doesn't go. <laughs> so now we have another denim skirt, and this one is my absolute favorite, okay? I love this skirt. I love the shape of it. I love the cut, the slit. 
I love it. The lining of it, it just looks really, really good. See here, the waist doesn't fit super loose, which I love. I love that they made the waist a bit more tapered. And also, I really like the slit. It just looks really good. And obviously, just like the others, I would wear this with a boot. I have to. I absolutely, positively have to. This skirt I got in a size large. I noticed a medium is always a bit too tight in the hip area, so I'm really glad that I got this in a large. So the next skirt is this beauty right here. Very, very different, very unique, okay? But the colors scream fall. So I immediately thought of this green sweater that I have on here. Just doing like a, a sweater with a skirt and a boot. Love it, okay? This is so pretty to me. I love the colors in this skirt. I just really like this a lot. I don't have any boots just yet or any shoes just yet that I would style with this, but y'all, this skirt is giving. It's kind of ugly. Is that weird to say? It's kind of like ugly cute. I don't know. It's something about the pattern that looks weird, but the colors make up for it. I don't know if that makes any sense. My brain just be doing things, but I really like the way that this sweater looks with this skirt. And here is a sweater pulled down, but I definitely would do it cropped. Okay, so now we're moving on to one of my favorite parts of the video, which is the outerwear. And here we have this super cool puffer jacket. It has a lot going on, okay? It's a lot. But I really like the colors in it. I liked kind of the extraness of it. As you can see, it does have like a high collar. It has a hood, which is my absolute favorite. I love me a good hood, okay? This, I really like. Now, this is the piece that you would use as your statement piece. You don't need to have on anything else that's doing the most because it's just going to literally be doing, the, like the outfit's just gonna be doing the most. For me personally, when I wear stuff like this, it has to be super basic underneath, period. But if you are someone who wants to be a bit more out there, a bit more extra, that's completely fine. But for me, I like to let my statement pieces shine. You don't wanna have on too many statement pieces at once because you just don't know what the focus is. So next we have this jacket and I really love this color. This is from the Daisy section, of course. So I got it in a XL, which you guys know is the biggest size they have. And I really liked this color because it reminded me of my Mocha Ones, which I have not worn in ages, okay? I have not worn those shoes in forever. So I like to get pieces that kind of bring back old pieces in my wardrobe so that I can actually get some use out of them. Here's a close up. As you can see, it has a zipper, an exaggerated collar, and then it does have like some slight elastic around the waist and it just has a really nice fit. I really like this color a lot. It kind of gives me like Rick Owens vibes, the color and the shape of the jacket. So I love this piece. Next we have this and this isn't something I would typically go for, but I do really like it. I do think it fits, I think it's because of the way I have the belt on. It does fit a little weird, not gonna lie, at the top, like something is weird about it, but I like it. As you can see right here, you see how the waist is like all scrunched and weird looking? I don't know why it looks like that versus the photo, but yeah, I think I just need to fix the belt and it'll be good. But here's a close up of it. It does have the fur lined collar and the fur on the sleeves and it just looks really cute. I tucked the belt in because it was just kind of hanging in the front, but I really like this. It's, it's hot, okay? So it's definitely gonna keep you warm. It's that material that is going to keep all the heat inside and you will be nice and warm. So the very last piece is this denim oversized vest and I have had my eye on this for a while, but I didn't think it was actually gonna be oversized and I love it. I love, 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 love this. I got this in a extra large or a large. It'll be down below, of course. But I like the wash of this. I like the way it looks. Y'all, I really love this. This is definitely a must cop. Okay, if you have not gotten this yet, because it's been on there for a minute. I need this in like a dark wash, a light wash. I need it in all the colors, okay? So yeah, this is the very last item I have in today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it was pretty long, but I wanted to give you guys a lot of pieces. Okay, y'all know how I do in my Shein hauls. Definitely hit this video with a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite piece in today's video. Definitely follow me on the gram because I will be styling a lot of these pieces really soon over there so you guys can get some outfit ideas. With that being said, I will see you all in my next one. Bye.